Hello, it's uh, Wednesday. I've done no vlogging this week apart from the random clip that I filmed on Monday which had intentions but didn't come through. Yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind week to be fair. We've been having our windows all changed so that's been a bit manic. I've worked from home today because of Delilah because I have to have the door open and stuff and they were going to change the door so obviously there need to be someone here because of the new door key <laughs> so we could actually get in the house they didn't manage to change the door because i think something's been made wrong um so they've got to reorder it and get it sent in and then fit it and then we can have our new door fitted but we have all new windows in upstairs i can show you the windows if you want to see the windows delilah you've been a really good girl have you been a good girl today yeah i mean the one thing i'm actually quite excited about about the windows is the, this is such an old thing to be excited about but we have got patterned glass in the bathroom obviously and also on the window on the landing um it was called autumn leaves which obviously is very me um but i love it i'll show you it in a second um but i'm so glad you went for that instead of just your foot stuck instead of um just like a boring frosted glass uh so yeah very excited about that and also it's already made a massive difference i feel like having new windows in and it's so nice to have clean windows so you can actually see out of her yes uh but now i'm just having a five minute break to eat something because i haven't eaten all day i didn't stop for lunch today but yeah would you like to see my bathroom windows all right then i mean it's absolute carnage I'm up here again and we've got a few touch-ups to do I think now because obviously mucky hands and stuff but we've gone with gold um hardware on our windows but this is what I'm most excited about and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it properly oh you can kind of look it's leaves and I mean some people will hate it but I bloody love it I'm so happy that we went with this glass. It's so nice. I'm very us. Um, and also the glass on the porch has got that pattern in it as well, eventually when it goes in. But this window here, this was an opening window, but we decided to like just have it sealed. Cause I mean, we've lived this long. It, basically this window was broken the day we moved in. Uh, so it's never, we've never been able to open it, but I feel like it looks wider. No, it's not a window that opens. So it lets in a bit more light. Um, yeah, and then down here is still carnage. Um, when it's not raining outside, I'll go and show you what's happened outside. Basically we've had, um, there's like a, um, a double window thing. I don't know, it's quite old. A lot of 1960s houses have it, I think. But basically, the underneath of that has been bricked up and isn't plastic anymore. And the bottom of the porch, so this was all glass. So this hasn't been changed yet. This was all glass, and now that is bricked up as well. Um, but there's something to do with the fitting for this. It's all one, meant to be all one piece, like from the porch all the way round to the end of the wall but they've sent it as two separate pieces so it doesn't fit together so yeah so we're waiting for that <clears throat> and then this will all be finished and the front door will go in and then my house will be back to a normal house <laughs> i just realized that i wore this exact outfit thursday last week wow favorite dress like <laughs> i just watched um zoe and mark's annual halloween vlog well zoe's one and then I'm gonna watch marks later but i realized that i can now put stuff back in the bathroom because the window's done so i'm gonna sort the bathroom out then i'm gonna have a bath and watch marks vlog and then try and work out what we're gonna do for dinner because we don't have any food and i don't really want to get takeaway but i also really can't bother to go to a shop so there's that. It's on the bathroom now, shall we?
I just realised that I haven't shown you my nails yet, so I thought I'd show you my nails. They're really cute. <laughs> Quickly before the battery dies. Look. Excuse the mess in the background. Come on, focus on my cute nails. Come on. Look, they've got little ghosties on them. They're so cute. This one is called George. And the others need a name. So if you have any ghosty names, leave them in the comments below. Oh, I'm so happy with them, they're so cute. As is Delilah after her haircut. Delilah! Oh no, it's not in focus. There she is. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Love you. Thank you. I don't know what I've done in my sleep, but I was such a bad headache, like a pain going up the back of my neck. I don't know whether I was having like a party in my sleep or what. I am clearly now too old for party dreams. <laughs> this is quickly becoming a game of which cupboard gives me the best light. <laughs> uh, today is new hair day. I am just feeding the dog. And then I need to go. Um, you've got turkey today, Delilah. Does that mean that you're probably not going to eat this? Probably. She's the fussiest dog I ever, I've ever met. I've never known a dog choose starvation over eating some delicious food. But that's Delilah. Potentially today, I am maybe getting some curtain bangs. Ugh. I messaged my hairdresser, who's actually one of Ben's best friends, um, and said, is my hair too fine to like add some definition to it? Just because I've had it cut in like a straight cut, which obviously makes it look a lot thicker, which is beautiful. Um, but now it just is so boring and I just want a bit of, I don't know how to word it, like a bit of fun in it. Um, and she said, no, we just work with your hair, so we'll see what happens. But the main point of today is to bring back the ginge. Um, I think I am committed now to being a ginger, but it does mean that every six weeks, I'm gonna have to pay out and get it dyed. But that's fine. At least then I'll have regular like haircuts and stuff, so it should help with the condition of my hair. Because I go through stages where I really look after it, and then I go through other stages where I neglect it really bad. <laughs> there you go. Um, this is currently a stage where I look after it, but it looks a bit limp because I washed it drastically. Drastically? It looks a bit crappy today because I was like, oh crap, I probably should have washed it before today. Um, so I quickly washed it yesterday night and just left it to dry and then had to straighten it this morning because, uh, I mean, I couldn't have left the house with how it looked, to be honest. <laughs> Those people that can go to bed with like wet hair and top knots and whatever and wake up and have gorgeously beachy waves, I just don't know how you do life because that's just never gonna be me. Whatever position I put my hair in, it stays in it. So like, if I sleep with my hair on my head, whether it's dirty or clean, if I try and take it out in the morning, my hair is staying on top of my head. That is my hair type. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna film anything in the salon. <clears throat> Probably not because I'm not that confident with the camera yet. <laughs> um, but I will show you when it's and then I need to frantically tidy the house when I get back. Standard Saturday because, well, it's a tip anyway because of the windows, which is still not finished. And then my best friend and her boyfriend are coming around quickly because they're off to Ikea, which is near my house. And so they're going to pop around, I think, but I'm not really sure what time. Hopefully, well, it all depends on how long I take in the hair salon, to be honest, I think. 
um, but they're potentially coming back and then I need to edit this and upload it. I'm trying to decide whether, because we're going on a really cute little dog walk tomorrow with some friends, I don't know whether to vlog that and add that into the end of the vlog for this week or add it into the beginning of the vlog for next week. I guess I'll edit this and see how long it is and then go from there maybe. I don't know. My camera just came up saying that something about this mode and I didn't read it before I pressed the button so I don't know if any of the last clips recorded with sound. <laughs> if they didn't I will talk to you when I get home. <laughs> but I just got to the hair salon. And as always, the journey didn't take me as long as I thought it would. I always think it's going to take me like 10-15 minutes to get here and it literally takes like three. <laughs> so I'm just going to sit in the car for a bit before I go in. Also, I just wanted to ask, has anyone else over the last week, two weeks, just felt off? And that's the only way I can explain it. Like, have you, do you feel unsettled, um, like on edge, like you can't just sit still, like there's something that you should be doing, but you can't remember what that is that you should be doing and you just can't relax because that is how I felt probably for the last two weeks. And it always hits harder in the evenings. I'm just so fidgety. But it's not affecting my sleep or anything. Like I can, as soon as I go to bed, that's it, I'm asleep. I just can't sit still or like concentrate on anything in, in the evening or sometimes even during the day. Like I find it really hard to stay focused on something. I just feel so unsettled and on edge. Like I'm waiting for something. It's almost like I'm waiting for something to happen. But all I want is for my body to have that like like relaxed feeling you know and it's just not happening but I can't put my finger on what it would be because there's nothing happening there's nothing I'm waiting to happen I don't know if it's because we had all like the build up to the wedding and stuff so that was kind of a bit hectic and I haven't really stopped or relaxed since that I don't I just don't know I just feel a bit unsettled and that's the only way I can explain it but I just wondered if anybody else has been feeling a little bit like that. Any planets in retrograde? I don't know anything about that. But that's the first thing that people normally say, isn't it? Well, Mercury is in retrograde, so... But yeah, I don't know. We don't know. I just don't feel right. What's the time? How long have I got? It's 5-2. Maybe I'll go in one minute. Ooh. Do you know what I'm really looking forward to? A freaking head massage when she washes my hair. But that's and you can't say that isn't one of the best parts about getting your hair done is getting your hair washed by somebody else. Also, I can't freaking decide what to wear at the moment. It was cold, like freezing during the week, and now it's warm and I'm in my jumper and I've got literally like woolly trousers on. And it's glorious sunshine and actually quite warm. Right, I'm gonna go. This is the before. The sun is way too bright so you literally can't see anything, but I love it. We went, we kept them, um, the little baggy bits, a bit longer just in case I change my mind. <laughs> um, I might go shorter next time we get them cut, but we'll see how I get on. I just, I think they'll look really cute. Like when my hair is up, they'll slightly fall out or, and things like that. But I could still have them up, up if I wanted to. And it adds like a little bit more excitement and texture into the front of my face. But I'm happy, be happy. Now I need to go home and tidy my house frantically. But I just went into Tesco's to get some um, sausages for dinner. I'm gonna do sausage and mash. And um, Ben was like, oh, can you get me a fridge? Like those fridgy milkshakes. Mate, these have shrunk. They're like half the size more expensive <laughs> like I swear they used to be like this big and really fat and now they're not very unimpressed but whatever and also following on the conversation of being not able to settle I bought some bedtime tea bedtime Yorkshire tea because I love their biscuit tea I really like this 
I know this is very hit and miss. I know loads of people that really don't like it, but I love it. I find it like a really comforting taste. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I don't know. But it tastes like, if you've never had it, if you were a biscuit dunker in your tea, that like those last couple of mouthfuls of your tea after you've been dunking your biscuits, that's what this tastes like. And I think that's dreamy. So I've got another box of those. But yeah, I've got the bedtime one and it's with vanilla and nutmeg. So I'll try that tonight and see if it helps me relax a little bit. I don't need any help sleeping, but, um, but it's decaf tea, lemon balm, lemongrass, nutmeg, vanilla, Oh, that's it. That's the ingredients. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and the sun's gone behind the clouds. You can see me better now. You can see my colour. I'm so much happier. And then I kept the blonde bits in, but they're in the shorter bit. But yeah, be happy. Um, but yeah, now I need to go home and guard my house. Also, it's freaking roasting in here. And actually, from Tesco's, I have bought the most adorable pumpkin doormat, which was £4 with my club card. £5 without the club card, but £4 with the club card. So I'm going to go put that out and I'll show you that when I've got it out. But right now, before I melt in this car, let's go home. See you in a sec. Can we just take a minute to appreciate how freaking cute my dog is, please? She's got a little Halloween jumper on, which was, yes, which was a gift. And it's actually a cat jumper, but she's so tiny that it fits her and it's cute. And we match because ghosts on my nails that won't focus, but yeah. Oh my god, I freaking love you. You're so cute. This is the cute map, by the way. Please ignore the state of the house. Windows being changed. Isn't it cute? Four pounds and it's washable, so I thought the back door would be perfect. Delilah can. Hello! And wipe her muddy paws on it. <laughs> I actually can't cope with you. You're too cute. Right, I've decided that the dog walk tomorrow I'm going to put in next week's vlog um, so that I can edit this and get it up. So sorry if this is a bit of a boring vlog. Um, it's taking a little bit of getting used to getting the camera out again and chit-chatting with you guys. But I feel like Saturdays are always going to be like the day for vlogging because it's my obviously my day off um, and I'm on my own as well. So no distractions or anything like that. So yeah. So another massive thank you for watching if you've made it to the end of the vlog. Thank you. Give it a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe if you're not already. And I love you and I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Also, super quickly, I forgot to say thank you to the lovely people that commented on last week's vlog. That was cute. I wasn't expecting any comments or any, like, any form of engagement from it. So thanks, mate.